in this wonderful episode, we get, well, we get our mine colonies on and we start an absolutely wonderful settlement. So hope you enjoy. Welcome back to a, well, another new episode. We're starting all the mods nine. I'm actually on a server with all the lads from the TAC SMP. They've been doing this for a while. I'm kind of late to it. I don't know why I never joined to begin with. Uh, and then just because playing other packs and then Mr. Took, uh, the fantastic man, came in the stream one day and he's like, you should come, you should come join us. So here we are. I got all the boring beginning stuff out of the way, like going mining for some resources, exploring. We're quite far away from everybody else as well. Like this is, <laughs> this is where spawn is. Uh, it's like 4,000 blocks away. So we're definitely, definitely a bit far away. You can see too, everybody else's builds are like, here's, uh, I don't know who that is actually. Oh, Relatable Gaming. That's Relatable's base, uh, Pumpkin, uh, Took. He probably has the best base I've ever seen, and I am absolutely jealous of this thing. It's not even fair. And I think Wazaf was somewhere? I don't know, I can't zoom out far enough, so. But this is how far away we are. We're definitely quite far. The plan for this is we're going to use mine colonies a lot. And we're gonna turn this entire island into like a, a fortress of sorts. So I started with mine colonies, obviously. I have our starter thing down there. I have the builder or the town hall here. And I'm thinking I wanna build the main fort art uh, here, probably. Place anyway. Yeah, that's fine. Sweet, so if I do this, uh, we need to create a new colony as well, actually. Uh, perfect, okay. In the meantime, build options. Does this have... That's not the way I want, though. Uh, hiring mode, housing mode, that's all fine to keep automatic. That's not what I meant. I wanted to... Let me see. Oh, okay. Well, that's our first lad. I don't have an axe, actually, and I think there's one in here. Let's jump off this real quick. But yeah, I'm very excited because that means I get to play with the boys, and I honestly do miss playing modded with people around. Much I love our single-player world. Don't get me wrong, I love our single-player worlds. It's very nice to do community stuff every now and again. And actually, that's the one thing me and Took were talking about was that it feels like no one's really focusing on the community too much. I mean, they're all doing their own thing and they're doing phenomenal with it. Don't get me wrong. And that's absolutely fine. But we just we just miss this side of it. So we're going to do community builds. I'm sure me and Took are going to do a lot because we're the ones that kind of uh, he's the one that got me into this anyway. Bless you. But uh, if you haven't used mine colonies before, it's phenomenal. I love it. I've played it with it on stream before. And it's just a grand old time. Okay, so I need to put this here. Uh, use build tool. There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. Uh, so infrastructure. No. Fundamentals. There we go. Town hall. Fortress is the one we want. So the thing is... I need to build a big fortress. Now, level five is pretty nuts, which I don't think we'll get to. I mean, we can always upgrade it later, but you can see just the scale of this thing is uh, is pretty nuts. It makes sense, it's a fortress. But for now, I think we're just gonna do level two, honestly. I think we might jump right to it. It's a lot of materials to get, but I think it'll be worth it. So let's just confirm this then. Perfect. Okay, now I need to build a builder's hut as well, I guess. Uh, build options. I need to get all of these materials. So let's see. So we need saplings, furnace. Actually, I think there's a clipboard, isn't there? Uh, I keep pressing tab for my... You know the thing. Uh, is this, that's create mine colonies. Here we go. I actually think I have everything for that. Let's see, 
Uh, well, I can use this gold block to make an extra build tool, I think. Oh, it's just cobblestone. Never mind. I don't know why I thought it was worse than that. Uh, so let's do that real quick. If you don't know twigs make two sticks, it's quite lovely. Uh, okay, that's not what I meant to happen, but we'll take the quests, I guess. I don't know. Uh, let's see. You, 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 and you. Build tool. There we go. And then it was what? Leather and sticks? Yeah. Leather. And sticks. There we go. And yeah, also I posted a short recently and oh my, did it do well. It was like 2,000 views in the first seven hours? Eight hours? Something like that. And for me, that's pretty good. Considering my videos usually flop, uh, I'm not too I'm not too upset about that. All right, so if we grab this, uh, right, we can go over here, sneak right click it. Is this just for requests? They might just be for requests. We'll we'll figure out a flag too at some point. Pull any color white. I want purple. There we go. Everything's better in dark purple. Perfect. Town map. Uh, Okay. Perfect. I think we need a builder's hut too, right? Or can we just start handing them things? I never remember. So let's see. Information, permissions. That's not terrible. Alright. Let's grab a builder hut. So I think we have to build the builder's hut first. Just builder's tools, some planks, and a door. Simple. Let's get it. Alright. This. Sure, why not? Okay. You. Door. Uh, this and this. this. Okay, so I don't think it matters as long as it's in range of this, right? So if I put this on the island over here, uh, use build tool. Okay, we need fundamentals, builder's hut. Okay, we need to bring this this way a bit. I'm assuming this is the door, right? Yeah, sweet, okay. Uh, pull it my way. Still need to go my way, okay. So we can have that like that, that's fine. Confirm, perfect. We'll put the spare builder's tool there. Great job placement. Uh, however, that's not enough. You need to access it by clicking the build building button. So you will be creating new structures for the colony. Cool. Building news. That's fine. Okay. Build option. So yeah, we need a lot of this. So give me a few minutes. I'm gonna get all of this together, and then we'll come back once uh, once this is ready. All right. So this is taking a lot longer than I want. As you can see, we have a lot of stuff built behind us. We have shaders on. But I wanted to show you why this is taking so long. So mine colonies obviously have to let them do their thing. You can help it. But if we go down to time played, I've been on the server for 12 hours. And we're still getting... We still have a lot to do to get this mine colony actually started. But we have our town hall built, which is pretty nice. Uh, it does have suggestions on where to put things. I'm not going to really listen to them. This is our town hall. So we got our town hall building. We've got all this. I don't know if there's anything. There's stuff up here. Okay. Stuff up here. There was a mountain here, obviously. It's gone. We have our four houses. The one you can kind of see back there. We'll figure out something to do. But we have our two builder's huts. And we have all of this stuff to start building. Now, how I want to do this is the warehouse. Basically, I'm going to use mine colonies to pretty much do everything for me. Because I feel like that's just a good way to do it. I'm going to use mine colonies. I might as well go all the way out. So stuff like there's a mine. We're going to use that to get our resources. There's a warehouse. We'll probably build our storage system in the warehouse. There's farmers. There's fishers. There's taverns, which draw people in. Uh, guard towers. There's farms. Courier huts, which I don't actually know what they do. Uh, but we're going to use them anyway. Fisher's hut, which I'll probably put down here somewhere. But uh, yeah, I got a lot more stuff to get building. I just wanted to bring you and... Uh, Bring you in, catch you up to speed. We have a lot to do. And we also gotta terraform a lot of this, cause like I mean that's not exactly ideal. And same with uh, I think it's over here too. Where it's like that. 
Oh, this one's fine. It must be this one. Yeah, you can see it's overhanging. So we'll fix this kind of stuff. We'll build the Fisher Hut, I think, down here, honestly. We'll get uh, all the other buildings built, and I'll come back once a lot of that's done. Oh, all right. It's been, honestly, almost another... It's been, like, ten hours of this. This episode, like I said, is going to take a long time. But we've made an absolute just metric ton of process progress process progress so we have one of our guard towers over here now on this little outcove of this cliff which i thought you know what screw it i like it we've upgraded the builders whoa frame rate we've upgraded the builders huts to level two we have a university now which is quite nice so we can start researching things and if you don't know oh there's guards sleeping in here okay <laughs> Uh, if we go into research, you can research a bunch of stuff. So you can research technology, which means I believe these farms get better and you can go quite far. So magic compost, I'm assuming, I actually don't know what any of this does. I've never gone this far, to be honest. But you can see like, there's a lot of stuff we can unlock and that's just in technology. There's combat to make them more accurate, do more damage, do like armor. Wow, my brain is not working. Basically, so they can use higher equipment values, like you could use diamond armor and all that kind of uh, stuff. What a great colony to be a part of. You know what? Thank you. That's very kind of you. Well, yeah, we can do a lot of stuff like that. Oh, chicken in the university. Love it. We have a restaurant, finally, so that we can actually feed our civilians. Good to see you. So if we put food in here, she will, she'll cook it. So you can see she's cooking the egg to make fried eggs. And then the courier, which is that man Patrick there, he can basically deliver food to everybody, which is super nice. So we still have our four houses here. I have upgraded this one to level two. And so it's quite, quite big. And I think this can hold two people now, yeah. So I think once it goes up to like tier five, it'll be able to hold five people. Only problem is, uh, oh, we have a new child in the colony, nice. Only problem is, to get past level 3, you need to go to the nether and all that other stuff, which I'm leaving for next episode, so eventually we'll get there. But uh, you can see the builder's huts don't have back doors for some reason. I don't know. I like it. We have our chicken coops. I can't remember if I showed this. This is where a lot of our food's coming from, is these chickens. Uh, thanks to our lovely lady, Francis here, who is basically doing the dirty work with all the chickens. I'm not going to go into how we're getting chicken meat, but we're getting chicken meat and eggs and the courier comes and grabs it. Also, the reason and how we store things is the warehouse. If I can actually go into it. So there's a bunch of racks and our all our materials end up here. So whenever they need something, I believe they'll send it over Crust. And if it's found in one of these, it will send out... Uh, can you smell? You can, you can cook tropical fish, right? Can you? Am I blind? Can you not? Okay. I'm gonna grab these and bring them. But yeah, uh, so basically Patrick will just come here, store a bunch of stuff. Uh, let's see, I actually don't know what any of this is. I should look into this later, but we'll go give this lady a bunch of our food. We have the Fisher thing down here. Is she sick again? This chick keeps getting Just sick. Just a fine morning. Yes, she keeps getting sick. Rami later. Uh, inventory, she's still like a fishing rod, cool. So we have a little pool. I don't know why it builds with a diving board, but I love the fact that it just like goes out into the ocean where there's like actual fish down here. <laughs> I think it's, I think it's cool. Let's go back up here. Did we ever get a gar? We did, okay, cool. Let's give the food to the restaurant lady. Let's see, I also built a tavern, which is basically just a sh uh, cart <laughs> with a bunch of tents, but it, it holds okay. people until you have enough room in your. Can you cook gar? I'm assuming you can. Oh, you need to do it in there. Okay. All right, I believe in you. Yeah, so it has a bunch of tents. Basically, people stop yes. by your town. Shut up. Uh, a bunch of backstory, and you can hire them need for something. certain things. Uh, and as you can see, there's, you say so. their stats will be way better than most of your people in your village. Uh, just because they're coming from all over. But you can see there's children, which is hilarious. 
There also is a mine. Or what do you need? Can I help you? Did I not give you another pickaxe, bro? I guess not. You know what? You can just have that one. Oh, wait. You know what? You can't use it. I don't think. You need something? You have a pickaxe. What are you talking about? Okay. Anyway. There's also guard what towers. What can I do for you? Wow, you are loud. Um, you can set certain guards to just patrol the mines because as they mine a much bigger area, they won't be able to light it up as well. And you can just have guards basically patrol with them and protect them, which is super nice. But I got a lot more stuff to build, unfortunately. I got to get a hospital made. I got to get some more houses made. All that kind of stuff. So once again, I will be back in probably another 10 hours or so, and I will update y'all. Well, even more time has passed. We're at 1.3 days played. This is like a 30 hour episode for all of this. And we've added a lot of stuff. As you can see behind me, we have a storage system of sorts now, and that is all thanks to Mr. Took. He stopped by, as he always does, seeing how our progression is going, and he decided that he was going to upgrade all of these to netherite chests, which is ridiculous. So these are all like, what that be? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. These are basically three double chests each, and we have a logic cable and a whatever the um, interface is called. So we have effectively a very cheap AE2 system. Which is excellent, because I was going to use this anyway, but he saved me from having to craft it all. So let me run you through all the stuff that's been done. All of our houses are upgraded to level 2, so each of them can hold two citizens now, which is very nice. We have a farm, which is making, uh, I believe, yeah, how it's set for carrots. I'm going to make one for potatoes as well. I think the next tier, is this, let's see. Yeah, I think the next tier adds a layer on top of this. Shut up. Um, <laughs> I think it adds a layer on top of it, so we can add potatoes, which means we can feed our hospital. And speaking of the hospital and all that kind of stuff, we have made a barracks, which is excellent. Also, our population has been pretty, pretty booming. So we have pretty much all these white dots here are all people. So this is all people. These are people. So we have a bunch of guards. I think we have about five guards running around kind of defending. And they're actually coming in handy now, which is super nice, because I've had a couple raids, and for the past few raids, no one's died. I really hit that? Uh, no one's died over the past few raids, which is super nice. I had that the right time the first time. There we go. So this is the barracks. I don't actually know what the barracks does, to be honest. I'm assuming... Does it say... Uh, we're not able to build any barracks towers. Each barracks contains four barracks towers, one for each level, up to level four. Uh, the restrictions, one barracks only holds one barracks tower per level, yeah, yeah, yeah. And more than one barracks, yes, but the barracks tower levels are based on the bar- okay. Basically, this helps us have a bunch- a much bigger military. And over here, you can see, in our lovely wool structure, we have- Okay. We have our hospital, with our witch doctor boy. So this is how we treat the flu. I do need to upgrade this soon because people keep getting sick and the hospital is doing great, but I'd like to have it running more effectively. And you can see we're running out of uh, items here. We have only six potatoes. We need to get that farm going. As well, what I did is all the way, because you can see on our mini map, or maybe not the mini map, uh, but you can see in the top corner, I'll probably zoom in if I remember, our area of claimed colonization is quite a bit larger. So when you claim stuff and build like guard towers and buildings closer to the edge of the claim, they expand the borders, which is quite nice. So I kind of got cheeky and this was the, is this the exact corner? So right here is the exact edge, but pretty much smack dab at the very edge of a chunk. So it pushes it three out that way, that way, and that way. And we get a lot more room, which is quite nice. Now, my only other problem that I'm running into, and it's more of an aesthetic problem, so it's not that big of a deal, but I'd like to get it changed, is pathways and roads. Now, Mine Colonies, bless you, Mine Colonies does have roads. The only problem, if I can, there we go, we go to infrastructure and roads. We just need like a footpath, but it don't look that great. Like, this is, I guess it's bad to try and see it like that. 
this is basically what it would look like. You'd have our dark stairs here and path blocks. And that's just boring. But the only thing is, so let's see. I mean, actually, I didn't see this one to be fair. This is pretty nice. I, I do like the extra bushes on the side. That could be interesting, but there's not enough room is the other problem. So I might have to just come up with custom roads. I'm gonna watch how all these guys pathfind and just have to build roads that way or build walls so that they have to walk on the paths. The other thing, because of raids with pirates, sorry, I put my armor for my mic. It probably cut out my audio a bit. Because of raids with pirates, I have to build walls and it's the same kind of problem because if we go to, I think it's under infrastructure. Is it under here? Walls and how we have a thing, perfect. Let's say wall one, right? Does this actually show? Oh, these aren't even tall walls. Okay, I figured these would be, you know, things were fortress. Oh no, never mind. There we go. So that would be the wall. The problem is getting these to fit around here is kind of a pain, especially in the water. So I might have to like custom build some of these walls. So I want to build a moat probably somewhere over here or down by the by this area where this is kind of like this natural cove. So we could have like a wall that runs around here, follows this drop off and catches back up over here. And we can have an entrance in the middle here so we can rider boats to, to victory or wherever we need to go but you can see the walls are kind of meh especially when they get small like this where they just don't do anything because as long as i have walls i don't feel too bad about the pirates because honestly pirates suck they absolutely murder your civilians and it's not as fun because the guards can only do so much but uh, yeah Anyways, hope you all enjoyed. This has been a lot of work, so hopefully you guys enjoy the series. A bit shorter episode, but I kind of want to just bring you in, show you what I'm doing, getting everything set up, and then uh, go from there. But anyways, hope you all enjoy, and I will catch you in the next one. Later.